The CAA CD Mag Countdown Mag is an idea that I think is pretty neat. I have two here. One of them I already opened. The other one I left in the package because I wanted to show you something. It's got the features li listed here, such as the window indicating the exact amount of re remaining rounds, colored backgrounds for a quicker indication of the amount of rounds, sort of like uh, on video games, and then a window on the bottom to show the approximate number of rounds remaining. I don't see the window. But, whatever. At least you can still see uh, in the back there and the numbers slide. Wanted to see how accurate it was, so I've got uh, some 223 here and some 300 blackout, and I thought uh, we'll throw it in the mag, see what it does. Don't worry, I'll fast forward this. Now, an interesting feature is that the number 30 is red, uh, which I think is great considering uh, 30 is typically overloading one of these magazines. Even though they can hold 30, you might have feeding issues. While I loaded it, I did feel some stretching and stressing at the top. Uh, this is an all-polymer mag. There's no metal reinforcement inside of it. How that will do for long term, I do not know. It certainly feeds off nicely. Now for the 300 Blackout test. Obviously 300 Blackout uses the same casing that was part of the original design intent. What I'm curious is if the geometry of the round will change the way the magazine fills and thereby changing what it thinks is indicated. Once again, I'll fast forward this. And we've got 30 at 30. Everything seemed to fit all right. Had a couple that seemed like they didn't want to stack right. Uh, as the magazine swelled and broadened, uh, the rounds started to get on top of each other. But uh, other than that, in shooting, so far so good. Just like any we'll see how it AR shoots. Mag. Functioning fine in one receiver, not so much in another.